Hello, everyone. Oh, wow, that sounded weird, didn't it? Hello. <laughs> Hello, what's going on? Welcome back to some more Diablo 2. Uh, we've managed to defeat Andario in the last episode. We're here at Loot Golane now. Uh, we've been tasked, if I remember correctly, to head down into the sewers and uh, figure out what the hell is going on. Um, let's see, where's the sewer over here? I think this is... That is to the sewers, but isn't there... I think there's another spot over here that we can go down to uh, as well. I believe. I, I could be wrong, but let's, let's go check. I know there's a trap door over here. Um, trap door. Sewers, level one. Um, yeah, let's go. We'll, we'll go here. Nothing to say, Drood, about the uh, quality of life in this place. Let's see, what am I rocking here? Yeah, nothing special, but... Okay. Alright, uh, no, don't want town... Oh yeah, you know what, we need... Not Arctic Glass. Pro boy. Wolfie dudes. Poison Creeper. And our little spirit friend. Alright, and then we'll do uh, Molten Boulder. I, I, I really like Molten Boulder. Oh! Burning dead archers to take care of. Oh, that was pretty quick, huh? Uh, yeah, let's identify it. Soul Loon. 14% enhanced damage, 1 sits lightning damage. Poison resistance. Not bad. I don't necessarily need it, but it'd be cool if you could give uh, your your followers weapon. You know, like kind of like in Skyrim, you file <laughs> uh, how you can equip your your fucking Lydia with the <laughs> with shit. Devil hack. He was dead. Devil hack. He was dead. Oh, there we go. Might have to go back uh, into town. Come on. Come on. Come on. One more. There we go. Awesome. Spirit's almost dead, so let's uh, get a new one going there, and then we got to send another wolf. We actually lost the one. There we go. Alright, let's see. Heavy boots. And then uh, healing, rejuvenation, gold, of course. Since gold will identify, that'll be helpful. Yeah. Oh! Uh, rejuvenation. Okay, let's. Naturally, I want to know what these are. Hopefully, they're better. I mean, they, yeah, they're already better, it looks like. But. Half freeze. To... Ooh. Uh. Okay, uh, we're gonna go back to town. I know the stairs are like literally, literally right there, but I don't care. Uh, I think it's this way, right? Yeah. Prepare. Let's. I wanna. 9 16, 3 to 7. Yeah. We'll, we'll sell this. This too, obviously, we're not going to ever use it. And this as well. Uh, what does she have? Does she have anything cool? This is 41. Have anything that I could... Look like it. Yeah. Okay. Alright, uh, let's go stash. Stash. Actually, then these will put a cross to the top. That might be a little bit better. I wonder if I should sell this. I probably should, right? I mean, it's only uh, one, to, 1 to 5 damage. It served us well, but. Same with this too, actually. I need to make room in here. We'll keep this just because. Um, um, down 
here. There we go. Yeah, let's sell this stuff. I don't really need it. Let me get okay. this to me. Alright. Quite a bit of gold. Pretty nice. Let's stash some of it away. Uh, so we're gonna do 13, 2, 4, 2. That should leave us with 1,000, correct? Awesome. Alright, let's go back down to the portal. Wherever the hell that was. There. That's gold, thank you. Don't mind if I do. Oh! Fried fish. Also known as beef jerky. Not a lot of exploring to do down here. What's this? What's this? Loop the lane. Ah, that's uh the other entrance. Oh yeah, arrows. I need them. I'm a shrine. Thanks. I don't have a group map. Rejuvenation potion. I was stumbling over my tongue. Okay. Uh, what did I just pick up? Arrows. I will take the stamina potion, however. Oh, that's right. I have a level up. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go dump a couple into that, and then the strength. Then we will do. I think we'll continue to... Oh, I have this. I didn't realize I had this. Do I have this? Or... No, I don't. I just... Unlock. What kind of exploring are these going into with Chris? Uh, yeah, we'll go with Fissure. Might be a good one to have, you know? You know what I mean, Vern? Alright. Moving right along. Go down this way. Uh, I think there's still some more to explore over here, though. Let's. I want to finish up exploring as much as we can. Definitely want to try and get as much experience as we can. That way. There we go. Long drop. Ring. Find if I do. Yes, burn. Gold. Don't mind if I do. Alright, so Fissure seems to be, uh... I do not mean to pick this up. Kirby is especially good for, like, head there. Oh, my healing potion. Give me that gold. Can I pet that though? Uh, right. Yeah, I guess we'll go this way, I guess, right? I mean... Holy shit. Hawk 
Helm, small shield, minor healing potion, hunter's bow. Uh, we'll take the hawk hound. Not that I can use it. Well, it's socketed, so we'll probably get something for it, you know? Same with the hunters, though. Dumb money is better than no money. Down this way. But Luke Golane, Luke Golane, Luke Golane was always one of my favorite levels, just because it, it's very ancient Egypt esque with the monsters and stuff. <clears throat> uh, that, that, and then we'll put these guys in here. Um, yeah, I always liked Luke Golane a lot, and. Honestly, now that I'm, like, older, too, I feel like I can appreciate the level design a little bit more, I feel like. Because, uh, I mean, this, like, you're in a sewer, we're, te you know, technically in a sewer right now, right? And this really is just, like, sprawling maze of a place that you're trying to navigate through, and... You know, if I didn't use the map, obviously I, I would be lost. And, uh, that would be a little terrifying, kind of. Duck it! Yeah, give me that sweet, sweet blood. <laughs> Dried corpses, they're the, the culprits. Dropping little poison clouds. Alright, we're gonna go back up to the main entrance, because there's a little patch that we didn't see. Okay. Anything in here? No? Okay. Alright, let's go downstairs. We'll try and find, uh. Got the axe. Uh, you know what? Do this. We might as well go and sell this crap. Good evening. Fair. You. You. Okay. And you can have this as well. Then we'll get. Good to game. see you. Thanks, bud. Thanks, Chief. Dexterity. Don't need it. Don't want it. It's yours. Very well. Didn't mean to do that either, but there it is. Stay a while and listen. My name is Deckard Kane. Uh, <laughs> that's my Deckard Kane impersonation. Not to be confused with Bean Kane. Right. Hopefully, we don't have to go down another level and we can find. Whatever creature it is that is down here in the second level of the sewer is terrorizing the citizens of Luke Golane. There's some dried corpses, though.
Gunfire, gas, healing, gold. Give me all your shit. Thank you very much. I have a feeling we'll probably have to go down one more level, but that's okay. It's strong. I'm here for it. I feel like <laughs> I didn't play Diablo three. <clears throat> uh, I was initially excited when I had heard about it. I was very excited, honestly, because uh, Diablo one and two were, you know, two of my all-time favorite games. Uh, a lot of fond memories playing these games. Um. And uh, initially, I was I was pretty excited for Diablo three, and then I saw like the art style and how it was like kind of like cartoony looking and stuff, and just wasn't really into it. So I didn't play it, uh, and now I've actually completely forgotten where my thought was going. <laughs> Vile Bender the Quick. Healing, healing, gold. Oh, now I remember. Uh, like level design. I had also ended up finding out that Diablo 3 was just kind of like. There was, you know, it was just linear, extremely linear. Blessings to you. You're on a, a one one-way track to figuring out like uh like it was a ra almost like a rail system you know you only had one way to yes. go really. not much to deviate from and uh 21 36 no thanks prepare and yeah i don't know i just that seemed kind of dumb to me because, like, one of the things that I, I love the most about this, about Diablo 2 and Diablo 1, is that every time that you would, <clears throat> especially playing online, because that's, I think, when it made the most difference, that every time that you logged on, the map was different. Everything that you had explored previously was just gone. And I, I know I'm, I'm probably preaching to the choir right now for any anybody who has played. Diablo 2 and 3, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just said something I hope that Diablo 4 will not do. I hope that they make it so that when you play online or whatever it is, that you can really friends. Uh, that every time that you go back in, like, it's a, it's a different map. It's, it's different. You're, you're exploring something different. Because that's part of, in my opinion at least, and I'm sure it is true, the replayability of these games. Is that it's not always the same. Even when you think that, oh, I, I have this figured out. You no, know, because, you know, you start off in the rogue encampment, you gotta go find the den of, the den of evil. And each time that you do it, it's, it's gonna change. So you have to go and, and search all over again. Again, that's that's part of the fun. The constantly evolving and changing world. Okay, good. Here we are. Uh, that you have to freshly explore every single time you load back into the game. Sure, all the the waypoints and stuff are going to be the same, <clears throat> and that's good and, and great and convenient. 
that's how it should be. Uh, but, you know, you can use the waypoint to go to those fast travel points, and it's gonna be different. Each and every time. That's just what I hope gets carried over. Large shield, mana spear, like, a, yeah, fuck it. And that's it here. It looks like I explored everything, so let's go down to the third level. Hopefully this boss will be down there, be able to fucking kick some ass. Then, uh, probably call it quits there. Come on, nothing snazzy to say? I think it's down here. Base, arrow, no thanks. I don't remember them. Oh, stamina potion, we will take over. Well, maybe I do kind of remember them. Maybe even those tests are blended right in with the floor. So gold. You. Dead mage. Cool. I guess the one good thing about the trident is that it is uh, it has a long strike on it. So I'm not like in the video when that pops up. Which is good. I still hate how slow it is, though. <laughs> so slow. Or was I just making that up? Maybe I didn't see a champion. Big gold, thanks. Healing potion. Five. Wild striker for a while again, right? Okay, what's that? A dead stone. No. There we go. <laughs> Light Bell. I've been having trouble with Diablo when I go to start it. It'll automatically minimize. And then I can't get it. It's, it's weird shit's been happening with my laptop, basically, is what I'm trying to say here. <laughs> Healing potion, let's go this way. Oh, uh, there's so much I have to explore still. That's nest. Fruit zombie head, no thanks. Oh, beer? Alright, just because I'm in, in curious. Uh, okay. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll sell that. Fuck it. So much. Lower. I look forward to when I can just be in catacombs and shit out in the desert instead. Go back down this way and continue over here, I think. Love to know where this guy is. Thanks for dying. 
Some of these actually. They'll probably be worth something. I possibly. Big mail. Go here. What? Here. Did not go down this way though. Suck it. Here we go. Ooh, doggy. Let's get the fuck out of there real quick, huh? Quest. Kill random. Randomin. Randomin. I should have like a bunch of hotkeys like set up and shit. I don't. I know I should. I don't. Go with Firewolf. We'll do Oak Sage. Maybe Poison Creeper. Uh, no, let's. Even though we won't probably use it that much, it may not be a bad idea to have some. Pretty cool stuff. One, two, give me all of this shit. And the Herodric Scroll. Ooh, a new quest. Show the scroll to Cain and loot the lane. Fancy. Okay, uh, let's see. There's still lots to explore down here, though. So we're gonna actually finish exploring down here. I wanna try and get as much. XP as possibly they possibly can. There. 
actually, if we look, if I can get it to a spot. It looks like the only place that I really haven't explored is like right here, and it looks like it's just a hallway. So that being said, let's go back to town. Yo, Deckard Kane. Ah, the lost Herodric scroll. What a fortunate turn of events. As the last living Herodrim, I alone have knowledge of its meaning. Now, to read the Herodric runes it bears. Hmm. The Herodric mages, after binding Bale within Talrasha, magically sealed off his burial chamber from the mortal realm. Those same mages also crafted fearsome Herodric staves and imbued them with the special power to open the chamber's hidden door. After nearly losing one to the thievery of a rogue sorcerer, they divided all the Herodric staves into two parts, wooden shaft and metal headpiece, hiding them separately to safeguard them. The Herodrum foresaw our current plight and designed the hiding places to reveal themselves to worthy heroes like you. Collect both parts of a Herodric staff and unite them using a Herodric cube. Then you may enter Tal Rasha's burial chamber. Oh, I'm very excited to get the Herodric cube. At least then I'll have some extra space in my inventory. Talk for the fair. Fair. Bell. 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 <laughs> Sell that and so. And we go and talk to this lady. Right? Yo! They say that the taste of vengeance is bittersweet, but I find it to my liking. In addition to my undying gratitude, I have spoken on your behalf with the rest of the townspeople. The merchants have agreed to Hell share yeah. their gratitude by offering their wares and services at lower rates. Oh, Jaren wants to see you too. You'll find him in front of the palace. Right. Um, done and done. Search the halls of the dead under the dry hills for the cube. Search the maggot lair under the far oasis for the shaft. Search the claw viper temple for the headpiece. Moving on, we'll go talk to what's his name over here. Let's actually deposit some Mune. Uh, so I think it should be one. Dudes in front of the palace over here, and after we talk to him, that'll be it for today. There he is. I have heard of your many deeds of skill and bravery. I feel I can trust you with something I have been hesitant to speak of. I fucked over the town. Jognan and I have concluded that the Dark Wanderer who passed through here recently was Diablo himself. Drognan believes that Diablo is searching the desert for the secret tomb where the great Horodric mage, Talrasha, keeps Bale imprisoned. You must find Diablo and put an end to the terrible evil that has fallen upon our city. Drognan is wise and is sure to have some helpful advice for you as to how Talrasha's tomb may be found. It may take you quite some time to find the tomb. May you be ready when you do. Right. Find Talrasha's tomb, but obviously we have some other things that we need to do first. Uh, but until then, we'll take a short break, uh, and then we'll probably see some Diablo 2 again next week. Well, oh man, that is going to be it for me today, guys. I hope you had fun on our journey through the sewers, exploring the labyrinth that they are, and uh, dealing a mortal blow to the forces of evil. Uh, Greetings. Sell stuff. What does he sell? I just sell fucking weapons. Uh, but yeah. All right, guys. Have a great day, morning, evening, afternoon, night, whatever time of day it is, wherever you are, while you're watching. Just have a good one. Peace out, guys.